Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination course. In this lesson, we're going to go through a demonstration to find out how to create and manage a supervision policy. For many compliance requirements, you may need to take samples from user communication to see if they comply with all policies and regulations. Because eDiscovery is an inadequate tool for taking random samples, you can use supervision policies to analyze only a certain amount of data from supervised users and groups. You can define policies that capture internal and external email, Microsoft Teams, or third-party communication. Reviewers can then examine the messages to make sure that they are compliant with your organization's message standards and resolve them with a classification type. Some of the supported communication types of supervision policies include Exchange Email, Microsoft Teams, Skype for Business Online, and third-party sources. So let's look at the licensing requirement for supervision policy. Supervision policy is an advanced compliance feature and all users in scope of supervision policies need one of the following licenses options. M Microsoft 365 E5 compliance, Office 365 E3 with an advanced compliance add-on or Office 365 E5. I'm on my Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Why enter Admin Center? I can go to Security. Under Security and Compliance Portal, click on Permissions and scroll down to find Supervisor Review. Or you can search for that as well. So this is where you can go and see the members of this group. I'm going to edit the membership and I'm going to choose a member and add a user. So let's go to the supervision. So I don't have much data over here, but this is where you can create a new supervision policy. And please note that when adding groups to supervised users, dynamic distribution groups are not supported. On choosing reviewers, either distribution group or dynamic distribution groups are supported. Now that we have learned about supervision policy, in the next video, we're going to talk about use scoped discovery search. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.